Welcome back savages to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to deal with one of these very hot Adaptec hard drive controllers. So what it is, I've got one of these in the bay at the moment, works fine. Problem is, this heatsink gets very very hot. So the plan is, is to install a fan, a mini fan, just round about in this area here. And I'm going to be DIYing it and making it myself. Let's go. So here's what I've come up with. What I've used to start off with is the original bracket you would normally find in the back of a case. And what I've done is just used a couple of U-shaped brackets here just to fix it so I get the right angle going across. Then I've used one of these plates going across here with four holes in it and I've done the same above. And I've basically just attached a mini fan to it that way. Screwed it on the back like that. So that's what it looks like. So when it goes in the slot, it's going to be like that and as long as these metal bits are not touching any of the, the cards on either side we should be good to go let's give it a try so there we go fits in nicely there's plenty of a gap between the graphics card and the fan and again the adapted card the fan is directly opposite that and that is going to be blowing cold air directly onto it to keep it cool so that's how you make one saves you buying one you can easily do this from parts that you might have lying around in the garage and like I say, if you're using metal bits, just make sure none of these bits are contacting the motherboard or either card either side, and you're good to go. The only thing you need to do after that is just plug the other end of the fan into a power connector, and you're good to go. So there we go. Motherboard is now powered on. Fan's working. Plenty of cool air coming this way. And all I've done is just connected that end directly into the, uh, the motherboard there. There's a fan connection just there, which is perfect. So there you go, guys nice simple way of keeping your hard drive controller nice and cool with a DIY fan fix. Anyway, hope you like this video and I'll see you savages on the next one. 